Hello and welcome back to ZRZ. We finally got our hands on the Sterling Silver DualSense PS5 controller to complete the Deep Earth collection, which we took a look at the Volcanic Red and the Cobalt Blue color, which is part of the Deep Earth collection, and they look amazing. But a lot of people wanted to check out this Sterling Silver one as well. So we're gonna open it up and take a look. So it looks like the box is the same as all the previous ones we have. So getting straight into it, and here we go. Once again, we do have this sort of carton style packaging, which is what we have on the later model DualSense controllers, instead of a full on cardboard box. And there, here we go, let's have a look. Damn, look at that. Wow, that looks so good in person. You know what, the gray buttons is what's standing out to me. I think they look sick. And yeah, we've still got this metallic finish on the front, just like the volcanic red and the cobalt blue it's got that same metallic finish only on the front and on the touchpad but the back of the controller is a more flat color no metallic finish on there and again taking a closer look at the side we can see there's a slight color difference but it looks quite good on this there's a bit more of a contrast so it seems a little bit more intentional but let me know what you think in the comments of that the slightly different color on the back and on the front i don't think it looks too bad on the silver one and it doesn't look bad on the the blue one either these two look great together actually these metallic finishes just really pop especially in the light the video definitely doesn't do it full justice when you see it in person it looks completely different to the standard colors that we've had on the dual sense but other than that we've got the same sort of black triggers and shoulder buttons black analog sticks black front trim we do have the matching options and share buttons so they, they kind of fit with this gray color at the front there uh, but this looks pretty cool and here we have all three of the deep earth collection controllers side by side let me know in the comments which one is your favorite i think i'm still leaning towards the cobalt blue that one just pops it's such a nice deep blue and the silver although it's cool and elegant it just doesn't stand out so the blue one i think is definitely still my favorite so i thought i'd do another side by side comparison of a bunch of ps5 controller colors including the new sterling silver DualSense controller but there's a reason why we have so many of these ps5 controllers it's actually because we've been working really hard at clutchcontrollers.com building customized ps5 controllers such as this one this is a customer order he's gone with this red and black theme but we do all sorts of color mods and modifications for the pros such as the mouse click triggers with the instant click and feedback and this one here has got four paddle buttons on the back so this is for the pros and also things like this just the rear grip which is like a soft touch feeling there's some epic options you can choose from at clutch controllers so if you want to support the channel and get yourself a cool custom ps5 controller then definitely check out clutchcontrollers.com but here we have the sterling silver side by side with the white and the camera right there this we got this sort of gradient grayscale situation going on here this looks really cool very neutral colors here in the middle but alongside the galactic purple and the cobalt blue and we've also got the cosmic red and the volcanic red right here let me know which one you think is the best one here i almost forgot a couple other colors to add to the mix these ones are actually just the raw shells of the starlight blue and the nova pink controllers but i thought i'd just show them in the shot just to see the comparison of colors that we have here now this looks really epic with all the colors next to each other i'm going to pick my top three i'm going to go with the cobalt blue as my first my favorite option then probably galactic purple as a second and then it's a bit of a tie between the gray camo and the sterling silver i think these two are both really cool i'd love to just have both i think they go really well together with the controllers turned around we can see that the the rear shells are a lot more of a a flat color less metallic finish especially on the new controllers the gray camo and the sterling silver have a very similar rear shell but the gray camo is slightly more green it has a slight green tint to it uh, whereas the sterling silver is, is a is a pure sort of gray color i actually think a controller that would be in this flat gray color all the way around would look really cool but i still think the sterling silver is definitely popping right now but there's one more thing i want to check which kind of follows on from my last video looking at the cobalt blue and the red let's check it out so in the previous video about the deep earth collection controllers i mentioned that the internals basically looked the same 
of the inside of these controllers and there was no updates but actually taking a closer look they have slightly tweaked a couple things inside and also you can tell from the outside markings on the back of the controller if you've got the later model of the DualSense controllers. Now there's nothing really major changed you know the functionality is exactly the same battery life and everything is the same so if you actually take a look at the back of the controller on the top row of text you should see the model number of this DualSense controller which is CFI ZCT one W, which has been the same uh, since the launch of these controllers. But there's a small letter next to that, and this one actually says B, and that is what indicates that this is a later model DualSense controller. So if you see a controller with that little B next to the model number, even if it is some of the older colors like the black or the white or the camo, they can still have this B marking on there, which indicates that the internals of this controller, this is the latest model that they've released. But once again, I did just want to open up the controller and just to make sure they didn't make any sneaky changes without changing the model number. But it does look the same as the Cobalt Blue and the Volcanic Red controller inside. They haven't upgraded the battery or anything like that. I know there's the rumors out there of the extended battery life on dual sensors coming soon, but we haven't had any further information on that. And it seems like the battery is the same. We've got the 1560 milliamp hour battery on the back there and the only real changes they made on these controllers compared to the previous ones from last year a slightly different assembly of the adaptive triggers but they still function the same the motherboard is slightly different but most of the parts are interchangeable so that was a look at the new sterling silver ps5 controller completing the final piece of the deep earth collection let me know what you think of it in the comments and like i said if you want to build up your own custom controller check out our website clutchcontrollers.com and if you like videos like these definitely subscribe to the channel for more content thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one